Hey, Tony here. For today's October video, I'm going to show you my top 10 ghost haunted house type films in my collection. So, first up, um, I'm not going to go into great detail about these. These are pretty much just suggestions of films that I would recommend. But first up at number 10 is this movie called Oculus. Now, I had never been really familiar with this particular movie until someone suggested it to me and I watched it. Um, that slipcover is amazing, as you can tell. But just a really great story. Um, good performances. It's creepy. Um, and just definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. At number nine, we have Sinister. Now, I always enjoyed Sinister. Um, I've seen it a few times, but as you can see, it's from the producers of Paranormal Activity and Insidious, which are two of my some of my favorite movies. So I did check this one out. I really enjoyed the, the performances, the story element of it, um, and almost like a um, that final act was amazing in this particular film. Um, definitely creepy. Definitely check it out. Okay, the next one at number seven is Crimson Peak. You know, I really don't hear very many people talking about this one either. I enjoyed this movie. Um, it gives it gave me the vibes of an old fashioned older movie. Um, just a really good story. Um, really easy to follow. Um, so definitely check out Crimson Peak if you haven't seen that one. Okay, at number six, we have Paranormal Activity. I've always enjoyed Paranormal Activity um, films. Um, this right here, of course, is the three film set. But this whole story that just kind of goes together, the, the lore of the whole franchise, um, this first movie really sets the tone for that. It is a found footage type film which I enjoyed. A lot of people don't like it because it is very slow paced. Um, just the whole scene in the bedroom with the camera. It seems like it just takes forever, which it which it does. But definitely check this one out if you've never seen it. Okay, at number five is a movie called Marabone. Now, I never really hear anybody, uh, anybody talk about this movie either. Somebody suggested that I watch this one, which I did. I loved it. Great story, great acting. Um, you can definitely feel the horror throughout the movie. It is a ghost story. Um, surprise ending. Great cast. Definitely check this out if you haven't seen it. Okay, at number four is the movie The Others. I've always enjoyed this movie. Great storyline. I went into this movie. So most of the movies that I go into are blind, blindly watched. I don't do a lot of research on them. I do like the element of surprise. So this one definitely gives you the element of surprise. Definitely enjoy the performance of Nicole Kidman. The child actors, it was just really good. I enjoyed that one. Okay, at number three is Insidious. This is another film that I really enjoy. Um, I saw this one in the theater when it was released. Um, creepy as ever. The trailer, of course, I did watch the trailer for this one before I saw it. Um, just a very creepy movie. I loved it. I love all the Insidious movies for what they are. But this one right here really set the bar for the for the franchise and definitely check that out if you've never seen it. Okay, at number two is, I'm sorry, at number three is The Conjuring. So The Conjuring, of course, is a great film. This right here was another one that I was very surprised with. I didn't ex know what to expect going into this one. Saw this one in the theater. Very creepy. It set the tone for the whole Conjuring universe, of course, which I enjoy for each movie. I really enjoy all the movies for what they are, but this right here was just great. I enjoyed this one. Okay, coming in at number two, we have Poltergeist. Now, Poltergeist is another one I saw as a kid. I've always loved this movie. I haven't seen it as much lately as I used to watch it back um, years ago. Um, I used to watch this on a good rotation every year, but I haven't seen it in a while. I definitely need to recheck this one out. But I love this story. I love the action. I love the ghost part element of it. The Indian Barrier Ground, all the different aspects of this film was great. If you've never seen Poltergeist, definitely check this one out. Very creepy. Okay, coming in at number one, we have the Amityville Horror. So this right here is another great ghost slash haunted house type story. Um, this came out in 1979. I did see this one in the theater when it was released. Um, after I saw this in the theater, which was pretty scary um, for a, a, a ten-year-old, I was ten years old in 1979. So I do remember after watching this movie that I read the book, 
enjoyed the book. I actually did my book report for school on this movie. I think I was in the fourth grade, maybe fifth grade. Um, but always had fond memories of this movie. Great performances. If you don't feel like you're a part of this film when you're watching it, then you're probably not into it as much as I was. But I really enjoyed it. I actually enjoyed the remake with Ryan Reynolds also. But definitely check out the MTV Horror if you've never seen it. So those are my top 10 ghost movies slash haunted house movies. Um, please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my top 10. Also, let me know if you have any of these ghost stories or haunted house movies that you would recommend me checking out. I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.